Let's look at another example. This time though we have a data set to use instead of statistics. And suppose we have the following data set given here and we wish to run a z-test on this data set. If the population standard deviation is known to be say 1.4 and the claim to the population average is 5, what are the test statistic and p-value for this data set? Well, we hit stat and enter and we begin entering in our data. All right, now that we have all of the data entered in, we can go ahead and begin conducting the test. In order to do that, we hit stat, we scroll over to test, and we hit enter, and we want to select the Z test. We have data, so we'll go ahead and highlight data and hit enter. Then we'll enter in the claim to the population average, for our example is five, the population standard deviation, which we were given to be 1.4, the L1 is the list where our data is. The frequency will keep at 1. The alternative that we're running is a two-sided alternative. And now we ask the calculator to calculate. And it provides us with the following information. It tells us the alternate hypothesis that we ran. It gives us the test statistic, which is negative 2.47 about. The p-value, which is 0 0.013 about. Now keep in mind that p-values will be reported in scientific notation if they are very small, so make sure you uh, watch out for that. The sample average, which was 4, the sample standard deviation for our list, which is about 1.54, and the sample size, which is 12. Now what if you wanted to see a picture of this scenario? Well here's how you can be done. You hit stat, highlight tests, select z-test and then scroll down until you get to draw and then hit enter and it draws our normal distribution we have the p-value as the sum of these two areas here and the test statistic is just the distance from the vertical axis, or the center line, if you will, to this uh, area where it starts to shade. And that is how you can conduct a two-sided alternative with data. But what if we have just a one-sided al alternative? Let's say that we believe the population average is actually greater than what was claimed. And how would you do that? Well, you hit stat go under tests, select z-test, we're keeping everything the same except this time we're going to select the greater than option under the alternative right here because that's what we want to test now so we highlight that and hit enter and then we ask it to calculate and we hit enter again and here notice that the test statistic has not changed but the p-value is now 0.9933. This is now very close to 1. The information from the data list also remains unchanged. So if you want to see what's going on with this situation, as far as a picture goes, we can do that. You can hit stat and highlight tests, select z-test, and just scroll down until you get to the draw option. And you highlight draw and you hit enter and now it shows you a picture of the situation that you asked the calculator to compute the shaded area under the curve represents the p-value and as you can see this thing is almost entirely shaded so it starts shading at negative 2.47 and it stops shading way off uh, in the distance so we have almost one for the uh, p-value as represented here by the shaded region under the curve. And this is how you can conduct a z-test when you have a data list on the TI-8384 calculators.